Hello, I'm Nathan, and today I'm here to talk to you about Unity's acquisition of Ziva Dynamics. Now, I saw this coming a mile away. I wasn't surprised. I was shocked this morning, of course, you know, when it does actually happen, you go, oh, the prediction in my head was right. Obviously, this is to compete with Unreal's MetaHuman. And it's quite easy to see what Unity does in regards to real-time technology, because you just look at what Unreal is doing and trying to do, and then Unity will follow far behind. We've seen it with Archviz and, and commercial real-time stuff with, with cars and everything, and that digital humans have been such a, a big topic, and developers have been trying to do it for, for decades now. I was actually really impressed with what Ziva was able to present with the acquisition, because obviously when Unity approached them and was like, hey, we want to acquire you, they probably also said, also, can you make a really cool acquisition trailer video with the tech you've got here with real-time realistic humans. We've seen sometimes in the past Unity try to play catch up with Unreal and it hasn't always been to the same level. I mean the Heretic was a pretty impressive demo but we haven't seen much since the basic assets been made. There hasn't been as many tools and you know obviously making something that looks like that despite having the pipeline that can handle it it takes a lot of manpower and effort to actually make a realistic human that's rigged and has deformations and everything else. However, with certain instances, like with the real time and kind of the cinema aspect of Unity, I mean, you compare that to what Unreal has done, especially now with Nanite, holy crap, like it, it's insane. And it doesn't look bad, but when you line it up against other technology, you can kind of see where it's lacking or hasn't had that amount of care or detail put into it. With this video, however, holy crap, I was quite impressed and I actually did a side-by-side -side with the announcement trailer of MetaHuman and, and there's a few things I've picked up on, okay? So first of all, it's the post-processing in Unreal. That they're, Obviously, you can see with Unreal that they want this to be for cinema, they want to replace human acting, or they want to make it so that it's easy to implement digital characters into a cinema experience. So Unreal obviously has a more of a cinematic approach where Unity, I was actually so satisfied to see that it was a high frame rate. Um, I think we need to step away from big 4K massive screens. I th I'm, I'm happy, honestly, with 1080p high frame rate, as you can see from this video. If you look down, the highest this can go is a uh, 1080p. 50 frames per second, and, and I think that that is the way we should be going more with technology. I know some people are different, some people like higher detailed, bigger screens, and, and I get that, but I think it shows the difference between Unreal wanting to be the biggest, bestest, you know, for, for cinema, basically. They want to be able to show their stuff in IMAX, where Unity is like, you know, we want it to be fast, we want it to be real time. And you can see in their tool base as well, Unity is a lot faster to start up and get working. Unreal, a bit slow to process, but they're consistent and they're good for production. Now, when you look at these two characters side by side, there's a few things I notice. Firstly, I think, and this is just an assumption here, I don't actually have much to back this up, but I think that Unity has better capture data. I think the movement and the details in their face are a lot better than with MetaHuman. Maybe with MetaHuman they used a phone, but I do think Unreal has a better rig in terms of deforming and moving. Like I played around that thing, that thing's amazing. Perhaps Ziva has better AI processing or they've got other tricks up their sleeves to make the rig look better. But I think in certain elements, especially in smiles with MetaHuman, it, it looks a little bit um, uncanny. But Unity's or Ziva's uh, human, the smile, look, it's still uncanny and I think the mouth is one of the biggest problems we have. But I think overall, if you get some freeze frames of both of them, um, I think Unity's won the not as uncanny award, basically. Good job, Unity. I thought it'd actually be a lot more uncanny, uh, but for right now, I guess MetaHuman is. And again, with this, they're both going to improve on this, like the fact that this is such a new technology, we're going to have uncanny humans and things that in our mind just go, oh, that's that's not right. And it's going to get worse and worse before it gets better, I think. Although Zevo's showed quite impressive animation, I wonder what behind the scenes were to get this to work. At least we saw with Unreal that, hey, this is the rig on me, and, and we kind of saw the technology developing there already. But here's the kicker. Like I said before, this is an acquisition announcement. This isn't a new tool set. This isn't any sort of demo or stuff you can try out. So right now, Unreal is still winning because their tool is out. It's in the web, which is quite impressive as well. It's you know streaming from who knows where. And, and MetaHuman right now is tried and tested, and there's people who are using it in their pipeline, where with Unity, it's a bit more difficult. So for now, although it looks amazing, 
we have to wait and see what's actually coming ahead. And speaking of things coming ahead, this video actually did mention a lot with the future technologies, stuff with AI and stuff, which is really exciting for me because I think uh, really good AI technology is going to be the thing that breaks down the barrier for entry when using this sort of software. We've seen with MetaHuman, you do need uh, people who are really good character artists and riggers and technical artists basically who understand real life motion um, and animation to really get the rigs working. The barrier for entry there, although it's been lowered a bit because a lot of the work has been done for you within the rig, uh, you still need to understand how the stuff works. Now with Unity's tool set, if they're gonna make AI be a core factor of it and make it easier for people with low skill set to actually use and, and create realistic humans, then I think that's actually gonna be very powerful. And I think that's what a lot of game developers are waiting for. We're all waiting because we know we're on the precipice of something a lot easier and, and the fact that things are gonna be as quickly as clicking a button to get realistic characters. Now, it's a little while off. I'm not saying that's gonna be what Unity is creating right now, but we're definitely heading towards that step. And I think AI is an important component of it. So while Unreal are focusing more on the rig and what we can do right now, Unity's looking long-term to make something with AI. And so maybe they'll be the, the nanite of the realistic real-time humans project. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Because much like the metaverse, everything right now is kind of big talk and, and big fancy words with not much to show for it yet. It's, it's all kind of the ideation stage until we actually have an actual product that we can test and see how it works and the cost and benefits of it all and whether or not it's actually good. Um, we can't properly judge it yet. But I thought I should jump the gun and tell you what my thoughts are on the new Ziva Dynamics um, and Unity acquisition. And look, maybe Unity can pull this one off and this would be a great win for developers. But until we can actually see that and until we have it working inside the engine, it's easy for me to make a character in my game with this sort of technology, I'm gonna hold my breath. Uh, I still use Universal Render Pipeline and I'm still just using Mixamo for animations and I'm making base simple characters because quite honestly, to make something like this would take a lot of time, especially for someone independent. If you're new to the channel actually, um, and haven't seen my other videos, check out my other devlogs. Uh, I'm working on a game called Coco Loco. Uh, it's a cute little restaurant time management game basically. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on this acquisition. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time.